So let's talk about the Horde add-on. I'm just going to add in a floor plane. This is going to plane where they're all going to be running around Jazz. Now I've already installed it the good old fashioned way of edit preferences, install, and just double click on the zip file. Then we're greeted with this. I'm just going to select these guys. We do have four options here. Human professionals, human swim, uh, zombies bear, and clothes. Mm, yeah, let's, let's put some clothes on those zombies. From here, we can select just kind of like a horde, a very slow system. Let's go add GN. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a line. And this is the path that they're going to be going. Now, obviously, the scale is a little bit too small, but we'll fix that up. Let's make sure that they're actually sitting on the plane first. I'm going to scale that up a bit more. Just give them some extra room. Select this. The ground is going to be the ground. Let's click sync parameters and snap to grid. So now... Now there's only six of them. Uh, six different types of meshes. But obviously what we can do is we can give them a bit of spread. <laughs> we can spread them out. Let's go tab into edit mode, scale Z0. So it's not, so it's a nice flat plane and I might just scale it out just so they're a little bit further. Let's apply that scale. And so now what we're gonna have is these guys kind of walking like this, a little bit too fast. Now we can see what the path is like. It's very linear, but with some of these settings, we can obviously go spread the characters out along the axis, character offset, depending on whereabouts they are on the timeline, the noise of the scale. We can randomize the paths. Obviously it gets a little bit crazy towards the end. I'm uh, just gonna bring that back down like so, whoops. And now this is a cool little feature is this actually controls the spread. So for instance, I can have them starting off really wide, then they pinch back in and then they expand out again. So that kind of works going through buildings and such. I'm just gonna make it level like so. We can increase the population, you know, 50, 100, 10,000. Oh, I'm sorry, computer. Okay, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's go back to 500. And then you can see that we've got literally a horde. Now, obviously you can see that they're sliding, so they're moving too fast. We can bring the character speed down, I don't know, one. There we go, that's a little bit better. If there's too many characters kind of together, so too many of the same, you have to remember there's only six variations of these characters but we can randomize the type of characters if they're standing next to each other. So for instance, you know, I don't like this area here because this is going to be my glory shot. That's the wrong word. We can just start randomizing the characters a little bit just to get that little bit of differentiation. Now, these aren't hero pieces. These are background pieces. So just remember that. So if you look at them from afar away, they're going to look magic. Looking up close, are not so much. So that's kind of doing the horde stuff. So let's select maybe these human professionals and this is gonna be kind of like our crowd sim. Let's select our ground. So let's slink parameters. Let's do that. Populate on target, add a GC system. There we go, I'm just gonna draw that. And so what we've done is created our um, crowd. Let's just make sure we select our ground, sync parameters, populate target. I do like to scale Z axis, just so they're on the ground. And now we can do crowd spacing so we can space, space them out, uh, randomize the grid so they're a little bit less liney. And then we can increase the population density. Look at that, that's pretty cool. And now these are all animated as well. So they're all like giving us a wave, so on and so forth. Throw them in a stadium, whatever. How's your father? Good, good. 